All right. Um, the uh, this section of the painting here isn't too bad as far as being dry, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of start putting some color in there. And I usually just call this lay of the land. Now back here, a little further off in the distance, I, I want that to be just a little bit bluish, greenish, kind of darker than what I'm going to do up front. The color of this doesn't matter really that much. Just kind of trying to indicate that there's maybe something a little, a little bit something going on back there. And then after you put that darker color in, you can drop a little bit of color in that. Okay, and then as I come up closer, okay, as you can see, there's this is all going to be probably quite a bit darker here, so I won't have to concern myself with it too much. Just kind of getting the lay of the land here using a big round brush. A little bit yellower on that. It's kind of right up to the base of that building. And here again, this is coming down this way, this, this kind of slopes, and then there's the, the bank of this pond, or whatever that is. I'm, I know there's some water right there. I do remember that, but whether what that was exactly, I'm not sure. Okay. All right, and then maybe over in here, we'll come back again with this, maybe some purple, put some of that in there. Just kind of a little bit of everything. Okay, maybe a little bit of burnt sienna in there. Here again, as I was saying, this area right here is considerably darker then this field will wind up being. So we're just kind of just throwing that in there for now. And then up front, there's kind of sort of the same thing again. You know, maybe a little purple. I guess I could try to paint around those fence posts, but I'm not inclined to do it. <laughs> I don't think I will. We'll just indicate those as something dark later. It's our painting, right? So we can do what we want with it. So this is like the other side of this. Now I'm just throwing in enough colors here that, that uh, you know, so the thing doesn't wind up completely flat, all the same color. That's all I'm really doing. I get a little bit of burnt sienna going there, maybe something like that. That's this foreground area here. Maybe even put a little bit of this thalo green up in here. Rather than just keep doing the same thing. And then let all those colors just kind of mix together. We'll see what we wind up with. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, maybe my sky, and you can see those drips are, are kind of running there a little bit. I'll usually take my towel. Sometimes it's actually good to get those runs. Not entirely a bad thing. Now I think we'll work on these uh, trees a little bit. That's probably dried enough for me there, yeah. So, maybe in this these distant trees, make them a little bit more of sort of a blue color. And we can always drop some color in there. 
So just kind of come right across there like that. And I probably should have waited a little longer. That looks like that's going to run down into my uh, grass color there, but that's all right. Now, uh, throw a little bit of yellow in that. Maybe even a little bit of red. Okay. Now, uh, same thing here. The, the color of this of these trees, they really don't matter too much at this stage of the game. Just kind of need an indication of where they are. So that's there. This is that roof of the barn there. Okay, some yellow dropped in there. Oops, got my hand in there. <laughs> okay, and maybe mix up a little dark and kind of put it in in a couple places and let that run around in there. Okay, then I've got the same thing over here. Just kind of getting the shape of these trees in for now. I can cut the roof line of this building. I've got a whole bunch of lines on that roof, so I'll just pick one there. Okay, and then those trees are defining these roof lines. So that's there, there. And that shed is there. And then here, there again, I'm not 100% sure where the edge of that building is. It's somewhere in there. Okay, so that's got that basic shape in there. And then again, to throw, throw some color in there, some yellow, maybe even a little red in a couple places. Get a dark going. Oh, just a few darks. Now's the time to do that so those can kind of spread around in there kind of naturally. Okay, now, uh, kind of try to get in here now a little bit maybe and indicate if I can get by with it. Uh, maybe where this, uh, the edge of this pond is. It's kind of there. And it kind of runs along here. Whoops, I'm getting a dandy drip over there. As you can imagine, the way I paint, I get a lot of that. And then let's see. Um, this kind of runs along here. And then there's some of this up in here. say it even comes up in front of that barn. Okay, here, 
that's just kind of indicating the uh, the edge of that water there. And there's kind of a reddish brown thing going on here. All that's kind of running along the edge of that. Of that water there. And then put some of that going back down into the water here a little bit. come back into that water here in a little bit play around with that a little bit more and then down on this end I've got a pretty dark area all right If that top has dried, don't think it has. <laughs> okay, may have to turn off the camera one more time. And uh, we'll let this paint dry for a while before I put any more on there. 